Hello, Recreate 7 here and welcome to episode 10 of our Austria-Hungary playthrough in Rule the Waves 2. As we join this game, we are at war with Italy and remain allied to Germany. In the last episode, we had a few minor skirmishes with Italy, uh, but nothing decisive. So as we enter this episode, we'll see if we can't force that decisive encounter. This footage was taken from a Twitch live stream, so I'll just hand you over to the live audio. Unexpected battle. Here we go. Yes, this is good. Give me some battleships. Come on, battleships. Ah. This is ridiculous. I don't think we've had one battle. I haven't had a single uh, engagement with battleships since this war started. The game's just toying with me. Alright. So we've got to... What is an objective? I wonder if they've got a, a bombardment target we don't know about. So we have light cruisers, a couple of screen groups then, of three three light cruisers, two light cruisers, so five light cruisers all in all, and four of our armoured cruisers. Is that the newer one? Yeah. What's the speed of these guys? 28. Except they are, and and yeah, this is one of the pains about the battle generator. So my nice new cruiser, heavy cruiser, armored cruisers, who have a maximum speed of 28, have been lumped together in a formation with our old armored cruisers with a max speed of 22, which means this force will be limited to like 22 knots, which is silly. I might see if I can try and force them to split off. Um, I'm going to put you straight into the line ahead, because I don't think we need two screens. Keep you as a screening force for now, though. See what we run into. Hopefully not an Italian battlecruiser. That would be unpleasant. We have lots of uh, recon going. Airships, patrol boats. Looks like... Yeah, it looks like we use Catalinas for scoutings. I wonder if they actually just remove the float planes from those air groups. I have to check. It's been a wee while since I uh, played with the air in this game. I need to remember exactly what you're, which ones get used for what roles. Obviously, float plane scouts get used for scouting off uh, cruisers and with catapults, etc. Hmm, all quiet in the sea at the moment. An unexpected battle, but with no opposing force at the moment. I'll get two separated. Where's our recon air force? Do I have any air bases up Pola? Maybe not. No. Yeah, that's one place I should build one next then. A good gap in our uh, armor. Okay, unknown ship. Right, we're over here, so let's, let's put you guys back onto line ahead. Good, let's kick everyone up 20 knots and head in the general direction of the enemy. Can't work out what's doing. Okay, three of them. Probably just screens, scouts. Yeah, destroyer's gonna go about the place. We're looking at light cruiser. Okay. And a few destroyers. That's not a problem. What may be a problem is where they're trying to lead us back to. Let's bring my heavy cruisers down this way. Oh, they have turned. What's this guy hanging about back here? Oh, seaplane tender. No problem with that. So far, it looks like we've got them outclassed, but you never know what's going to turn up in a moment. They have a lot of destroyers. All right, so it might just be a case of a distance a touch and see if we can't clear out some of the 19 odd destroyers they had left. Get your other ship all the way back here. Put your formation out, please. Heavy cruisers, let's get you over here. 
We might see if we can push up to 28, because what should happen is the new ones fly on ahead, and then the other ones get dropped for not being able to keep up. I don't want to get too close, uh, again, because of all the torpedo nonsense, while well, they have a lot of destroyers. Would be good if I can kind of cut them off and surround them on a couple of different sides. Force them to turn uh, towards our heaviers, which would be lovely. But let's see if we can get you guys go up to squad max, which, uh, okay, it's only one more knot, but we'll take it for now. <laughs> this looks a little bit like a gimme at the minute. Uh, one light cruiser, one seaplay tender, and a whole bunch of destroyers. You finished misunderstanding your signals. Come back down this way, please. Just run for a little bit. <laughs> and there goes another one. The Cita di Venezia. Venezia. This magazine ship blows up. They looks like they need to redesign their uh, seaplane carriers, tenders even. Excellent. That should just be a case of finishing off some destroyers without taking any torpedoes, and the one light cruiser that's bomb round in here. We have plenty of uh, light cruisers to do that with. Yes, I absolutely want to keep the attacher. Slow coach. Yes, that's my two older ones have now detached, so it's a nice slightly smaller squadron can keep at the 28 knots that they're capable of. We'll send them after the Nino Rixio class. Yeah, it looks like one dead destroyer at least. Keep an eye out for torpedoes and things. Here, don't get too complacent. Pull up slightly, and then he's done his what looks like his torpedo run. So let's do a quick change of direction. Should be able to finish him off as he tries to duck away. I'm going to do a little bit of a wiggle here. Just don't want to get any kind of solution on us. Good. Whenever you've decided to stop faffing around, you come down here. Come down here. Pick off these stragglers. And really, we just want to try and get in front of them before they get to port. Should be absolutely chewing through these guys. when you stop paying attention. Okay. Let's kill your speed. Send you for home. Good luck. That'll be quite a dampener if you uh, don't make it out. It's all the always the danger when you're uh, dealing with destroyers. We are landing a good number of hits, so hopefully we'll uh, start whittling out now uh, shortly. Especially with the older ships, it doesn't take many torpedoes to send them down. Let's come down here. Get yeah, between them, that's good. Right, the cruisers turn around. Actually managed to force them away from port, which is good, although not for very long. Little ship is taking an absolute pounding. I'm impressed by its staying power. You guys head north a little bit. Get these destroyers, please.
All right, come on, heavy cruisers. This is your job to sink lights. If you... No, that was my old light cruiser. I thought it was a heavy, so I just have to armor. Still, point stands. She's horribly close to port. Can we please sink her? close to those destroyers pull away. I'm not sure that's the turning circle I want you to take, but anyway. That one of our own torpedoes. I'll be just our luck, end up torpedoing our own uh, our own ships. Enemy aircraft. Ooh, interesting. RAA is not up to much at the minute. Ah, Zeppelins. Nice. I've never seen our Zeppelins do that. Uh, no bomb hits. Oh well. <sighs> Maros get by torpedo. From who? Hmm, okay. How's your damage? Not terrible, but not great. Alright, let's slow this squadron down. Yeah, that's why I wanted you to slow down. Oh, you're getting dangerously close to eating a torpedo as well. We seem to be whittling them down though. Run along this coast. Ooh. Need to get those that torpedoing that that flooding stopped. I'm gonna be upset if we lose our uh, heavy cruiser. We had a dest destroyer to be oh, the one that stopped. We'll claim that as a victory, sir. We hit a dead ship with a torpedo. Thing's still buzzing about at 20 knots though, which is frankly crazy. Right, let's do a turn because I'm sure they're gonna try and throw a torpedo at us. AI is doing to me what I want to try to do to AI. I know, this uh, this little scenario is turning against me. I dare say she's a goner. My destroy killers are not being efficient enough. Bag name it. Chase after that. Bulkhead ruptures, we're going at like 10 knots. Oof. I don't know if Maris is going to make it, to be perfectly honest. Alright, slow right way down. It's limp. This is turning into a very, I was going to say a fake victory, but it's going to be an outright defeat, to be honest. Uh, sure. We'll play the good guys, pick up survivors. That's fine. Don't care about those guys. I'm assuming you're not going to make it. Keep you out just in case. Yeah, there she goes. Is that one of the older ones or one of the newer ones? That was one of the newer ones, although, like you said, we need to redesign them anyway. Still, that's not the way I want to do it. Okay, 
more airships coming at us, but I haven't done anything yet. I think there's one destroyer left standing that we're interested in. Oh, maybe two actually. Uh, you're getting into a danger position. Look, there you go. They've made it back to port. But all that. Didn't even get the light cruiser. Oof. Oof, indeed. Right, you just go home. Oh, cool. Spot a submarine. I think this is going to be a very expensive sinking of a few Italian destroyers. Be nice and friendly, we've got the, the destroyers to spare. Right, there's another one gone at least. Let's make sure. Alright, let's head for home. And now our airships turn up. A bit late, mate. So that's the problem with airships, they are pretty slow. You are supposed to try and go home. And you are supposed to try and go home. Off we go. Not a good one. That wasn't a good one. That's a shame. Why have we stopped? Scouting report. That's fine. Ah, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I think they've been in the Navy for, or, you know, been out of a dry dock for about a month. Ah, oh, no, that would be our new one, our Adria. But still, that's, uh, that's a sore one. The perfidious Italians. She's in the peace. No matter. Oh, now I'm really salty. Not how I like to retire my ships. Oh, you can uh, go up to your cruise now. Oh man, two heavy cruisers and a light cruiser where we massively outnumbered them and all we sunk was five destroyers. That was poor. I probably could have managed it better. I'm sure there's, there's plenty of fault in there for me. Um, About changing course more often when fighting destroyers and things, but still, that was frustrating. I like, how did that light cruiser survive? Where is it? Didn't hit it that often, actually. That's probably the most disappointing thing. Gunnery training required. Yeah, that was a bad one. That's okay, these things happen. It's no fun if you win all the time. Quality one fifteen inch. Battleships torpedoed out of action for two months. Oh, we're now starting to get unrest building up. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Not as badly as Italy, but still. Uh, we have a huge monthly battle as well. I think we're going to have to rebuild some cruisers after this and some destroyers, actually. Also, destroyers first. When did we put the Python down? That was five years ago. 1916. Alright, let's um let's design a new destroyer. I think we're still at eleven hundred tons. And did we are? This is probably not gonna be too dissimilar to the Python. Are you trying to give me no, five inch. Oh, I don't have dual purpose five inches. Do I not? Why not? Thought it did. Okay, maybe not on destroyers. 
Uh, before we do anything, let's have a look at Python. What was she doing? She had four torpedo mounts and one five inch gun at the front. Definite torpedo boat. Probably don't, don't want to do anything too dissimilar, to be honest. Let's have a look. Is it worth designing if we look at destroyer? Is there anything more we can do apart from the strain, the um, whatever incremental stuff we've picked up? Destroyer, let's do auto design. That's fine. Uh, read medium engine priority. Probably speed. Actually, that makes it lighter. Liability. Too much heavier. Just normal then. Uh, all this to zero. Up to five inch guns. We don't want that many turrets. We want much more torpedoes. Uh, let's just add. That's going to look terrible. We'll add those on for now. I'm not sure. Much has changed, to be honest. So we can squeeze one more knot out if we want to redesign it. Ah, it's fine. I don't think there's a need. What I think I'm going to do is just build some more pythons. It's surprising. It's been five years and we've not made that uh, much of a tech increase for destroyers anyone. How many have I got? It's kind of got 11. Another half dozen? Nah, it's but another... Let's go then. It's but another dozen destroyers. I want more, more screens. Okay, that's good. That's all just putting us negative, actually. I mean, yeah, our, our income's going to drop after the war. I mean, aside from that, we want, we're going to want some more light cruisers, I think. Might be a battle cruiser might be the next thing we look at. That's definitely where we're lacking in the engagements, which we've uh, come up against thus far. Yeah, yeah, they're a little, um, a little tense. I definitely do not want to get dragged into a war and that is not one we're going to win, even with Germany as an ally. We'll have to look at, uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, definitely could make things go bad fast. Uh, uh yeah, they would just absolutely ruffle stomp us. Okay, come by defence. Sure. Oh, I forgot to take uh, him off trade protection. And some shit from out of Germany. Yeah, I'll have to see what options come up. Oh, I, do you know what I should have done? Oh, I should have checked my spying, actually, before I click next turn. I can't remember what that was selling with Britain. Yeah, <laughs> as chat just says, might be smart to reduce spying. Yeah, I may have just uh, remembered that too late. Um. Okay. Forgetting about the potential apocalyptic war with Great Britain in the future, um, we do have on our hands some battleships to play around with, which is good because I was just spent the last uh, battle complete. We don't have any. We've got ah, oh, these are our new ones as well. Our, our chunkers, forty two thousand tons. Nice, because I've not got to use these guys yet. Uh, so I think Italy had only a handful of battleships. They should be fairly new. Okay, let's see what Germany's rocking. So you've got. That's an interesting design. 12, 12 inches, 9 inch belts. Oh, these are tiny little things. Oh, from 1910. Okay. Some dual purpose centuries for some AA. That's one thing I'm really lacking at minute AA, but there's not huge amounts of, of aircraft bombing around at the minute. Yeah, 9 inch on a on a battleship. That's, uh, that's not going to stand up particularly well. Um, but... Also, always the way with allied ships. If they get sunk, it's a bit like a, yeah, not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, I uh, I, I caught a couple of, well, not as, not no names, real wave stream, but is uh, from Adept stuff. Cause you, you admin for the Discord, aren't you? Oh, it, no doubt, uh, far more experienced than I am. It's all good. Okay. Alright, concentrate. 
Let's not get all our ships sunk by torpedoes again. Pretty sure that's game plan 101. Okay, so we've got our destroy screens here. Pretty, uh, pretty light. So you guys have two and you guys have three. Okay. Let's bring you off the screen. Now we've found some front elements. Um, can you request cons? Not currently, no. So I'm just using a, well, you can see it popping up a free program called Pretzel Rocks. Get my music, but it's pretty limited because it's got to be, um, YouTube friendly because I put this stuff onto YouTube, which really uh, nerfs the amount of content you can get, which is a bit annoying. Right. I will have to look into a better system. So we are up against. Uh, these are even worse than the German ones. 9 inch belt, 12 inch guns, and less of a broadside than the Germans had. We should absolutely miller these guys. Well, this one anyway, we'll have to look where the others are. How fast can you guys go? 21. Yeah, that's abysmal as well. Although I think mine are only 24. 21? That's not right. I'm sure my newer ships were 24. 24. Was oh, the Monarch, not the new ones? I can open up your uh, formation, please. It's not. We've got one of our new ones, and then one of our slightly older ones. Okay. Although even this guy, he's, he would take out the ships they had. Right, you guys pull out, pull out. Let's uh, just lead them back towards our battle line, please. If we can't get you guys in a little bit closer and bring in the big guns. And say hello. So they've got two different types here. Okay, this one's slightly better. Bigger guns, better armor. Still won't stand up against what we've got. Let's see if we can't batter some battleships. We'll get these guys to hopefully uh, trim off these destroyers before well, they can get anywhere close to us. Yeah, you guys are gonna need to come pretty much straight down. We're going at 20 knots, so they can't run away from us, which is good. I get my screens to come down as well, see if we can't get them. What's your squad max? 23. Mm, it's okay. Not seen much in the way of hits though. Come on, battleships, gonna do the Navy proud. There we go. That's the older one, the Monarch. Hit him with a 15 inch gun. Medium damage already. Actually, guys, look, what range are we at? So they had what, 9 inch armor on that front one? Uh, didn't check the range. 16,000 yards. We're going to be chunking through that, no problem. Although he's, yeah. And that's on the 15 inch. I think the Hadbergs have 16 inches. This is going to be a bad, bad time for these Italian battleships. You need to sink them before they get to port. I'm going to be salty if they run away as well. Right, can, can you guys go any faster? Just about, oh, this guy's done for. Looks like he's taking some uh, engine damage. I mean, done for is a little bit, uh, maybe ahead of myself, but I'm just kind of counting it. If he can't run away from us, he ain't going to live. Not a problem. But I wonder if I can tell you guys, if you're not doing it already, to focus on the uh, Colonna class. No, I can't. Why not? Oh, it's just the division you target. Okay. okay, fine. 
well, like a potential uh, video we run, but I can't imagine the angle you would have had on them there. Better safe than sorry, although it's the Germans, so like I say, I wouldn't be too upset if we lost one of these guys. Okay, running away from us and into the German line, which is no problem at all. Running around slightly. Make sure, yeah, we've got full of broadsides there. So, what, 12 16 inch guns in the Hasberg. Nice. Oh, and the Germans are hitting more times than we are. I'll spawn Habsburg. Yeah, you get one hit, that's good. Six inches, six inches, twelve inches. Wow, where are the big hits? Hey, back just in time for to see us sink a couple of Italian battleships. I don't know if you you, you might be away from the show the designs. They are absolutely terrible, worse than the uh, German ones. That's not true. I think the one of them was okay, but we have them massively outgunned. You uh, actually cut behind them. Don't get torpedoed, please. Ah, my torpedo defense is terrible. Not the uh, not the tech in my ships. My uh, playing ability. Okay, flooding uh, is high, but not too bad in terms of the damage thus far. The Q on a ten. I'm gonna just tell you to sail away. Slowly get yourself out of there, please. Right, you guys are a little bit exposed, and the battleships have turned around, so you do likewise. Dag, damn it. That's my own fault. Too slow there, turning them. That's okay, they'll, they'll, well, I say it's okay. They'll be able to take a torpedo, but it's not good gameplay. Especially considering the uh, you have the mass out gun, there's probably no need. Was no need for me to be quite so close. Anyway, it's done now. Let's just make sure. Uh, yeah, okay. Fair amount of damage, but flooding's pretty pretty reduced. She should be okay for getting home. Just to tell them to start heading towards port, and feel free to uh, finish off these battleships and we passed. Yeah, I will get you to chase down this guy actually, because I don't want him being another torpedo near our battleships. Oh, don't you dare sink. He's so salty. Yeah, you think it is? Damn. Thought with the. Uh I thought the flooding so low it might be okay. Well, time will tell. There's not much we can do about it now. We should. Enemy ship hit by torpedo. That's fine. I mean, those are just dead in the water, so it's a little bit of target practice, really. Thousand minutes being afloat. Yeah, okay. That's it. Glad someone's doing the math. So, uh, yeah, it should definitely be time enough to get her home, even at whatever speed we're going at. Why, Hamburg, have you gone so fast, actually? You should be going down about 10 knots, please. I had thought I told you to do it, but anyway, make sure you're doing that. Don't want it to rupture any bulkheads. That would be pretty catastrophic. Okay, good. Yeah, you guys pull away. That's fine. And we'll just get you to uh, make sure this destroyer steers clear of our battleships.
It's not a concern right now. The concern is getting you home. You're still going at 16. Slow down, man. As you're flooding. Ah, we're fine. We're fine. As long as she doesn't rupture anything, which she shouldn't, going at 10 knots, she'll get home. But that was a, a level of panic we didn't need. It's because I uh, was not paying enough attention to how close I was to those destroyers. Let's make sure none of them are coming in on the Admiral spawn. Quite like for this, um, this uh, destroyer to sink. So I don't have to uh, babysit it. Yeah, you guys are just being mean now. Just sailing past these stricken ships, casually launching torpedoes at them. I, mean, I could tell them not to, but it doesn't really matter right now. I don't really know what this AI destroyers are doing though. I had thought they were attached to this battle group. They'd be kind of bombing around doing their own thing. That's fine, they're German, they can do it like. Okay. He's nice and clear. This guy looks just better. <laughs> Stop firing all your torpedoes at this guy. And yeah, I know I could actually tell them to turn it off, but... I suppose they get some practice. Right, this guy's dead in the water. That's good. Yeah, fine. So we're getting lots of uh, evidence our torpedoes are working. How are you doing? So you've got 3,000 left. At three. There's another thousand minutes. Should be okay, hopefully. I'm gonna risk putting you up to ten. Uh yeah, sure. We'll be the good guys. Right, you guys can just get yourself home. Say home, it's not your home, but it'll do. There you go, both of the battleships have gone under now, which I'm not surprised. Oh, she reattached herself, but that's fine. That was... I thought it was 3,000 left, which I said. Uh, 3,000 flotation at 3. That's where I got my 1,000 minutes from. On the spawn. Yeah. Well, no. 3,400. Don't try and do maths. Right, so how's the monarch looking? Champion. Oh, where is Aspern? Hang on, hang on, hang on. What? Here? Who on earth do you buy torpedoes from? Is that like a submarine attack? I wonder. Submarine, yeah. Okay. Interesting that it's zero flooding, unless it's not only going to show after the next tick. Check back. Nope. Unusual, but okay. And we're being fairly battered by torpedoes at the minute. Looks like we're going to limp at home. Yes, yeah, no one else go over here. Wise, uh, wise words. Alright, so I think the uh, lesson here is I need to learn to stay further away from my opponents. It's like getting in close, so guns do a bit of damage, but yeah, not worth it. Thankfully, we got out without, you know, without any cost to us, though. Beyond a few months in uh, dry dock. Okay. So that's still definitely going to be a victory. 
got I don't have any ships anywhere. Yeah, you, you, I, I, yeah, he's saying it's fine to get close, but swear from the enemy D's are in fire position. I'm usually, or at least I thought I was okay at doing that, but um, this evening's evidence would suggest otherwise. Trying not to go in a straight line for too long. Anyway, let's focus on the positives. We came out of that, zero, sinks, uh, zero ships sunk on our side, and we, we took out two battle ships on there, so the, you how many they actually have left after that. And, uh, uh, yeah. Not as badly. Oh, 66 heavy hits, actually. Yeah, that was completely mauled. Although, a fair number of those are probably after she was a goner. Hundred and four. This guy's got chewed up, and that's going to do it for today's episode. In the end, we got the decisive encounters that we were looking for, and overall, we came out ahead by a reasonable margin, considering we uh, sunk two of their battleships. Uh, but definitely, some suboptimal torpedo defence cost us uh, a few cruisers there, so uh, a slight frustration. As ever, this was taken from a Twitch live stream, and if you are interested in joining, there's a link in the description below. Failing that, I do hope you enjoyed this, and I'll catch you in the next one.